So Vic asked me to do a few buried treasures and I agreed because the Turbo Graphics does not get enough love on EP, but today it does 100%. And I'm going to talk about a game that a lot of people argue over all of the time. Some people love it, some people absolutely hate it. I fall into the I love it category. I love Keith Courage in Alpha Zones. This is a launch title that was packed in with the Turbo Graphics. Really, and it's an action platformer. It's kind of like a Mario style of game. You play as a character from an anime called Wataru, and you go through the level and you fight very easy uh, monsters, and you use your sword, like your laser sword, to cut them down. Uh, you do action platforming, jumping from a platform to the ground. It's very simple. You can go into shops and buy items. There's nothing that's that crazy here. But what is cool here is when you get to the end of the level, you finish that, you jump in your giant mech suit and you have your laser sword and you go and cut down enemies after enemies after enemies. And it is so cool. This is the bit I really liked. I was such a huge fan of mecha and robot action back then, especially Japanese robot action. So jumping in a mech suit, fighting other robots and stuff, I was in heaven. The one thing I will say is the game is over very, very fast. But the good news is the game is extremely cheap. And if you got a Turbo Graphics, it came with it. But you know, if you're on the fence, you have a Turbo Graphics, you have to get uh, Keith Courage because it is a classic of the system. It's it's one of those games that everybody should have in their Turbo Graphics collection. It's kind of like Altered Beast to the Genesis. It's just one of those games you need to get. The music's kind of memorable, it's kind of charming. It's not the best music in the world, but it kind of takes me back to 1989 with the Turbo Graphics, and I have a lot of fond memories hanging out in my parents' basement playing Keith Courage, definitely a buried treasure.